up. Are you ready to go scrapping? Get in the van. Guess what? What? Dropped off some food today. Ah, yes, I went to the church that accepts food donations. Because they today. give out hunger, uh, they give up out food um, every Saturday morning, and they organize it on Thursday. So we were able to to get some food out to them. So three big bags. So and we're going to distribute the rest to friends and families. We already have just some of them, but we still have more boxes to deliver. But now we're looking for a little bit of scrap because we want to get out and enjoy this beautiful day. So come on along and scrap it up. Scrap it up. Can I do my um, couple of shout outs right now? Okay. Is that okay? <laughs> we want to thank Christina Carnicorn and Peter Harlock for their generous donations to our tip jar. Thank you. And we want to say hey to Mark, Brenda, and Mason. Who are big fans and very, very good supporters. Mark's comments are wonderful and we love them. And I have a whole list of other people we want to give shout outs to, but I'm not ready for it yet. But it's coming. Love you. See you soon. Oh, what a beautiful water heater. Oh, what a beautiful day. Michelle loves her giant appliances. So everything's going okay. All right. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let's get it all lined up. Okay. Yeah. Lift. One, two, three. And push. Oh, remember when those used to be so hard for us? <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> Lemon squeezy. Woohoo! You know, that makes me happy when we get the big water heaters. She loves the big, heavy appliances. Oh my god, remember that time we had to get one out of the... Uh, was it Jimmy's sister's basement? That was a that toughie. That was our first one, huh? Yeah, that was before we were filming. And we had to take it up the basement, the yep. narrow basement stairs with them. Yeah, it had some water in it too. I don't think they let all the water out, so it made it really heavy. And then the next one was laying down in a yard, and I remember we rolled with it a couple times. Yeah, we had to roll it down a hill. But since then, you know, you get a little yeah, you do. you get confident that you uh -huh. can take care of it. Yeah, once, once we've been done it, we were like, oh, we can do that. Yeah, now I'm confident that a lot of stuff I could do by myself. But it's not as fun. Without and there's me. no one there to help you if in case you get hurt or something either. Or you get pinned down under the weight of something. <laughs> <laughs> My hand is stuck. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Mm
got a little something something. Yeah, we can't get that out. I don't want to make a mess. another one of these towers. I just threw the other one away. take it? Um, I asked you first. Yeah, might as well. <sighs> yeah, it's not too bad. It's leather. What is that? Life's a beach. Life's a beach. <laughs> nice. All right. going to get these in or not. Up on top, one of them. These are going to fit. <clears throat> like this. See what I'm saying? You don't know if you don't know if that's going to fit in there like that or I'm thinking that you part could. Yeah, I think it's Maybe one. Maybe we can come back for the rest. I don't know. Are these even metal? These are fit. I wish we had a something to measure it with.
Uh, yeah, I think it'll fit. The skinnier part's gonna have to go in first. See if this is gonna fit. It's got wheels on it, so if we could just take it over there. That's a good idea. All right, it might stick out a bit. Okay. Do you think we can get it in there? Uh -huh. A heave and a hove and a push. A heave and a hove? Yep. Okay. We want to get it up on top of that. There we go. Good job. caught on this thing here. Now let's get caught on this here thing here. All right, that's good enough. Yeah, I think we do. other two, all right? and takes it.
try and get those machines. Oh man, somebody came and got them. Crap. Well, that really sucks, but I guess if you snooze, you lose. I, I mean, I didn't think anyone was gonna pick them up. They were snow covered and stuff. I mean, they had been there for days, but I did remember some guy watching us, watching us load it up and thinking he probably uh, told his uncle or his cousin who scraps, hey, there's some scrap over here. Sucks.